Hey, good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. February 5th, here we are to talk about deeper roots. Today's devotional comes from Matthew 13 and 23. Um, our morning version is the NASB version. And then our evening version of Matthew 23 is the NIV version. Let's get into it. The Matthew 13, 23 reads, The one on whom seed was sown on the good soil, this is the man who hears the word and understands it who in, indeed bears fruit and brings forth, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. And then our text reads, Calla lilies are a beautiful flower that I can attest to. They are lovely. And calla lilies, I believe, are one of my mom's favorite flowers. Anywho, calla lilies are a beautiful are beautiful flowers with wide spotted leaves, thick stems, and bold colors. Year after year, you can watch the stunning leaves appear, and anticipate the gorgeous flowers, and then be disappointed when nothing more happens. Perhaps the soil is the problem. Calla, li calla lilies can be particular. As you head into another day, recite some words of scripture to yourself. Let the words of God establish themselves in your heart. Lord, um, I have been waiting for some better things to come to fruition in my life. Help me to continue to be faithful to you and wait patiently for those things as I grow in depth with you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's read our, our evening scripture. I think I, I think I know what we're talking about here, but let's go ahead and read our evening scripture and our evening text and see if we can't bring it home together, you guys. Matthew 13, 23 NIV version reads, the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Jesus' parable of the sower and the seeds is a memorable one. Some seeds fall on rocky soil, and while God's word is received, it doesn't take a firm root and quickly withers at the sign of hardship. The seeds that are established in good soil where the roots can go where the roots can go deep, not only survive, they also bear fruit. Do you hope to see more depth in your relationship with Jesus? Do you want others to see God's beauty displayed through your life? Be encouraged to hear the words of Jesus and then allow those words to penetrate your heart deeply until you understand them. Plant yourself in fertile soil and watch the beauty that emerges. And then our prayer for the evening is, God, thank you for a day of being encouraged. That I am going, that I am growing in you. God, thank you for a day of being encouraged that I am growing in you. Thank you that beautiful things will come from this. Our question for today is, have you been disappointed with waiting for something in your life to bloom? Reflect on the importance of depth in your relationship with Jesus. 
Okay, deeper roots. I I think um I get it. I understand. Yeah, I understand. As a matter of fact, the whole reason why I do a daily devotion now on my channel is for this very reason. I didn't want it to be all about um, movies and, you know, I, I know that's all of that's valuable and we have fun with all of that. But I, I didn't want um, things to get lost there. Do you know what I mean? Like... Like, I go into great detail with my reviews and stuff. And I felt like um, there were some things that I wasn't as detailed with. You know, we talked about up and down with the anxiety and mood and all of that. Especially with 2020 being what it is. And one of the whole reasons I started the devotional is because I wanted to go deeper with Christ. I wanted to uh, reconnect in a way that um, was more tangible and I wanted it to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, deeper roots. I get it. I completely get it. And you know what? They say uh, the definition of a s insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Um, I definitely think to continue to plant where the soil is rocky or not fertile is not beneficial either. It makes no sense to keep planting in your life if you don't get that soil enriched. Okay? Um, you guys tell me what you think about this uh, devotional for today. I'd love to hear it. And um, until next time, honeybees, I'll holla.